themes. You're ready to start control nodes in Godot similar to using CSS but with the GUI. Without wasting much time, let's jump into it. First of all, create a new project in Godot. Next up, add the default control node to it, add the button and the panel. Make sure the button is on top of the panel of course. Then you want to go over and select the control node and click add theme. I just want to say, the styles from the themes will be applied to all the nodes of the same type so you just have that in mind. So after adding the theme, you want to go to the bottom and click themes tab and on the themes tab you have a preview and you have a workspace kind of thing, I don't really know what to call it. So we go over to add type and we select a button. Then we click override all and now you can see we already have some properties you can play with. The first one I'm going here is styles and this has different styles which you can add with different button actions but for now I'm going to start with normal. Then I add the new style box flat, tap it and it's open here in the inspector panel. The first thing we're going to change is the border width and well, we'll just change it all to 3. As you can see we have a nice looking border around it. Then we can change the button color to anything of our choice and you can go over to border and you can click blend and it just fades in into the border color. So now for my favorite part, we can add border radius which just gives us rounded edges. So now we're done with the normal style, we can copy it to hover, select make unique so that we won't destroy our creation. So we click it and edit the color to be something else. We can preview it here in the preview side. You can also add font and font color but I'll not be doing that here. So if you've done that, go ahead and hit the subscribe button cause it means a lot to me. And when you're back, the panel would have been styled. And that has been themes in 100 seconds.